greet you all in the wonderful name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen hallelujah let's read one verse from the bible leviticus chapter 17 verse 11 leviticus chapter 17 verse 11 for the life of the flesh is in the blood and i have given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your souls for it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul let's pray dear heavenly father we come before the throne of your grace lord have your mercy upon us so father to hear this word and walk as per your word of god oh lord help us to understand the power in your blood oh father god help us to understand the blessings that comes from your blood oh father god the blood of jesus christ let us understand open our hearts open our minds open our eyes to hear and accept it and lord experience the power of the blood of christ in our life in our ministry in our family and in everything that we do oh father god thank you for answering our prayers we ask this prayer in the mighty and marvelous name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen amen hallelujah hallelujah there is a power in the blood of jesus amen there is more than that amen hallelujah okay French philosopher Voltaire and American president John Adams are famous for their criticisms of Christianity as a bloody religion because of the mention of frequent wars and blood in the bible they did so but it is not the wars it is more than that amen hallelujah so the blood of jesus is over through out the pages of scriptures from genesis chapter 3 and all the way through revelation chapter 12 and verse 9 through 11 sin made the blood atonement necessary sin put enmity between the seed of eve and the seed of satan that old serpent genesis 3:15 says and i will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed it shall bruise thy head and thou shall bruise his heel this prophecy is in genesis chapter 3 and verse 15 is the first prophecy concerning the coming sacrifice of the lord jesus christ and the destruction of satan Shortly after this statement an innocent animal had to be slain because of Adam and Eve's sin Revelation chapter 19 verse 13 is the last mention of blood in the bible it says and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of god amen hallelujah So when Adam and Eve sinned in the garden of Eden God would not accept the work of their own hands as a covering for their sin The first sin that they became aware of was their nakedness That is very instructive because they became focused upon the physical rather than fellowship with God they immediately got the revelation of their nakedness they attempted to cover their sin by sewing fig leaves together but god would not accept those works of their own hands instead an innocent animal had to be slain to provide covering of skins covering of their body The first crime in the Bible was committed by Cain. Why? Because he became very angry because of God's requirement to bring a blood offering rather than the fruits of his own hands. 
the fruits and vegetables of his own hands god rejected man's first attempt to come to him with a bloodless offering god rejected cain's offering man continues to reject the blood to this day it's not only cain who rejected the bloodless offering but still it continues to this day the blood of jesus is the only way to salvation that god will accept jesus said in john chapter 14 verse 6 I am the way the truth and the life no man come unto my father but by me so jesus is the only way for our salvation the way of cain is referred to in the book of jude it is the way of false religion a bloodless religion just as satan used Cain to persecute the way of the blood he has continued to use his children throughout the ages to torture and kill the bible believing people religion hates god and god's way religion hates the blood of jesus religion is man's attempt to get to god Christianity is God coming down to man. Amen. Christianity is God coming down to man. So true Bible believing Christianity is not a religion but is rather a reality of God living in you through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. we will sing the hymn what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of jesus what can make me whole again nothing but the blood of jesus amen hallelujah so leviticus 17:11 we read it for the life of the flesh is in the blood and i have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls for it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul it is the blood that makes the atonement for the soul amen hallelujah we are going to quickly see what are the blessings that comes from the blood of jesus or what are the power that we can receive from the blood of jesus amen so firstly his blood redeems us amen the blood of jesus redeems us redeems us from all our sins amen hallelujah let's read 1 peter chapter 1 and verses 18 through 19 it says that for as much as he know that he were not redeemed with the corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversations received by tradition from your father but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot amen hallelujah you and i are redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ which is, there is no blemish on it. it there is no spot on it hallelujah so this is the first blessing we received by the blood of jesus christ so the blood of jesus christ redeems us amen and second thing his blood brings us into the fellowship with god amen the blood of jesus christ brings us into the fellowship connection with god amen let's read ephesians chapter 2 and verse 13 says ephesians chapter 2 and verse 13 but now in christ jesus ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of christ amen hallelujah once we were far from our god once we were far from our father the law of the lord the law in the old testament cannot 
connect us cannot bring us to the fellowship with our father but what is that which brings the fellowship to our father that is only one and only the precious blood of jesus christ amen that is why he came to this earth he born as a man he born as a slave and he gave his life for you and me he was tortured in the place of you and me he gave he shed all his blood for you and me so that you and i be redeemed from the sin of this world amen hallelujah hallelujah so it is the precious blood of jesus there is nothing else can bring the fellowship with our heavenly father amen thirdly the precious blood of jesus christ makes peace with god amen it makes peace with god once we uh, god and we were in an enmity because of the sin that committed by uh, adam and eve but uh, when jesus christ came and shed his blood for you and me now we because of the blood of christ we can make peace with god let's read colossians colossians chapter 1 and verse 20 and having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him i say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven amen now we can make a reconcile with our father in heaven we can make a peace with our father in heaven through the blood of jesus christ amen and fourthly the blood of jesus christ cleanses us from all our sins amen hallelujah we will be holy by the precious blood of jesus it's nothing that can wash our sins away but the blood of jesus christ amen only the blood of jesus christ can wash us you know thoroughly I mean so that we can be able to reconcile with our father 1 john let's read from 1 john chapter 1 and verse 7 1 john chapter 1 and verse 7 it says but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of jesus christ his son cleanses us from all sin amen from all sin there is no sin is bigger so that the blood of jesus cannot cleanse us there is no sin is bigger dear people of god the blood of jesus christ cleanses us from all the sins as we wash the outside body with the uh, soaps outside body with a liquid bathing liquid so the spiritual man the innermost man can be cleansed our thoughts can be cleansed only by the blood of jesus christ amen and fifthly what is the blood of christ has done for us let's read revelations chapter 12 and verse 11 revelation chapter 12 and verse 11 it says and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto the death amen and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb amen. it is the blood that satan fears it is the blood that satan fears amen that is why when the israelites came out of the egypt at the final plague when the god is going to kill all the first born of the egyptians so god told israelites to put to sprinkle the blood of the lamp upon their door post so the blood covers the blood protects the blood you know that is the only thing the satan cannot enter inside of your house on my house your body on my body amen hallelujah so it is the blood of jesus through the blood of jesus christ they overcome the devil amen hallelujah so and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb 
the devil doesn't want you to learn about the blood he hates it he hates the blood of jesus that was that is why so many philosophical uh, thoughts are you no know, roaming around the world the hates what god has done for a man the hates what god did for our salvation but all the human want to do something of their own hands to receive the salvation and sixthly jesus blood speaks better things amen hallelujah let's read hebrews chapter 12 hebrews chapter 12 and verse 24 it says and to jesus the mediator of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh the better things than that of abel the blood of jesus speaks the better things than that of abel so here it says it means abel when cain killed abel in the book of genesis the bloods of abel sprinkled on the ground and it called upon the lord and this verse says the blood of jesus speaketh better things than that of abel it means abel's blood also might have spoken the good things the abel's blood might have pleaded for cain's salvation the abel's blood might have called upon the lord to save cain not to punish him amen but what about the jesus blood it says the word of god says the blood of jesus speak at the better things amen the abel already spoke the good things but jesus blood speaks more than that amen hallelujah hallelujah the blood of jesus called upon the lord and ask uh, and ask the lord to cleanse all of our sins and ask the lord to forgive all of our sins and ask the lord to have fellowship with man and ask the lord to cleanse us and ask the lord to make us holy and ask the lord to have peace with the man amen so the blood of jesus speaks speak of the better things than abel amen and seventhly what is the blood of jesus do for us the blood of jesus christ provides forgiveness of sin matthew chapter 26 verse 28 says matthew chapter 26 and verse 28 for this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for many for the remission of sins for this is the blood of the new covenant which is shed for many for the remission of sins amen hallelujah so jesus blood it was shed for our forgiveness of sin amen and eighthly the blood of jesus provides justification amen let's read romans chapter 5 and verse 9 romans chapter 5 and verse 9 it says much more than being now justified by his blood we shall be saved from wrath through him amen because of the blood of jesus christ we are now justified and now we are saved from the wrath the anger of god amen hallelujah hallelujah now it is no need for you and me to go through the wrath of god amen in the old testament period we can see so many cities so many people uh, tribes uh, they went through the wrath of god but in now in the new testament through the blood of jesus christ it is not necessary for us to go through the wrath of god hallelujah because we are being justified by the blood of jesus christ justification is a process through which a person is declared not guilty when the blood of jesus cleanses you it is as if you have 
never sinned before he restores us amen to the situations when we were never sinned to that state we are you and i are restored by the blood of jesus christ the blood justifies you since we have been justified by the blood of jesus it's not necessary for us to go through the wrath of god amen hallelujah and ninthly hebrews chapter 13 verse 12 so also jesus suffered and died outside the city gates to make his people holy by means of his own blood amen the jesus the blood of jesus make us holy amen so the holiness the sin separates man from god so the god demands holiness so this holiness only we received through the blood of jesus christ there is nothing else there is no such a thing on this world that can make us holy so that we can have the fellowship with god it is only the blood of jesus make us holy amen and tenthly what is the blood of jesus the blood of jesus gives access to the throne of grace amen jesus blood has made possible your complete reconciliation with the holy father in heaven now covered as you are in the blood of christ you are like the high priest who was invited to enter into the most holy place without being struck dead in the old testament once in a year the high priest should take the blood of the lamp and he can enter into the most holy place but now we can enter the most holy place without being struck dead just by taking only the blood of jesus christ amen hallelujah hallelujah because the blood of jesus christ make us holy that's why we cannot struck dead if any high priest if 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 with any sin if they entered into the most holy place they will be dead they will be struck by the god Hebrews chapter 10 verse 19 says and so dear brothers now we may walk right into the very holy of holies where god is because of the blood of jesus amen hallelujah so now we have we may walk right into the very holy of holies the most holy place where the god is when the new old testament where the ark of the covenant was kept where the mercy seat was there where the god is speaking through from that place now we can take only the blood of jesus christ and we can enter into the most holy place amen and eleventhly he spared us from the wrath of god amen so much more than having now been justified by his blood we shall be saved from the wrath through the blood of jesus christ as we read it in romans chapter 5 verse 9 amen since we have now been justified by his blood how much more shall we be saved from god's wrath through him amen so now we are saved from the wrath of god and twelfthly galatians chapter 3 and verse 13 galatians chapter 3 and verse 13 Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law having become a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree but Christ has redeemed us from the curses of the law amen Christ has redeemed you and me from all the curses whatever the old testament law is speaking you and i are redeemed from all those curses praise jesus amen and 13th point the blood of jesus christ cleanses us from 
all our consciences amen hebrews chapter 9 verse 13 through 14 it says hebrews chapter 9 verses 13 and 14 the blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a heifer sprinkled on those who are ceremonially unclean sanctify them so that they are outwardly clean how much more then will the blood of christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to god cleanse our consciences from acts that lead to death so that we may serve the living god amen hallelujah the precious blood of jesus christ cleanses us from all our consciences from where the acts that leads to death is coming forth so that we can serve the living god you and i are cleansed so that we can serve the living god the precious blood of jesus cleanses the dead works of the consciences so that we can serve the living god amen hallelujah the blood of jesus cleanses our conscience from dead works so that we may serve the living god the blood of goats and bulls that was offered for the atonement for sins in the old testament could only cleanse the people outwardly but the blood of jesus cleanses us internally and transforms our hearts and minds for us to have a healthy relationship with god we need our minds purified and restored to righteousness we can only love god with all our heart and with all our soul when we have been cleansed by the blood of jesus amen if we cleanse thoroughly by the blood of jesus then only we are able to love with all of our heart with all of our soul with all of our mind with all of our strength we can love god and 14th point we become children of god because of the blood of jesus christ hallelujah you and i become the children of god not of the world but god amen hallelujah so god has purchased us by the blood of jesus and has made us his children you and i are purchased with a very very unvaluable blood of jesus christ somebody said like this the single drop of blood of jesus is enough to cleanse all the sin of this world amen it has that power john chapter 1 verses 12 and 13 it says gospel of john chapter 1 verses 12 and 13 for those who received jesus he gave them the right to become the children of god for those who received jesus he gave them the right to become the children of god they are children not of human blood nor the will of man but of god amen you and i are made children not of human blood and or nor the will of man but of god amen when we become god's children we are part of his kingdom and have access to his blessings god is our father and cares for our every need as any parent would the shed blood of jesus give us access to the kingdom of god and our rightful place as his children amen nothing but the blood of jesus amen hallelujah the traditional american hymn about the blood atonement and propitiation for sin by the death of jesus as explained in hebrews chapter 9 the song was composed by robert lorry a hymn writer who was a baptist minister and professor at bucknell university so this hymn we all know it what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of jesus but the omitted stanza in this him is now by this i will overcome 
nothing but the blood of jesus now by this i will reach my home nothing but the blood of jesus amen hallelujah so these are all the blessings that we can receive through the blood of jesus christ amen we are forgiven we are redeemed we are cleansed by from all our sins we are made a peace with god we are reconciled with god we made holy we have the access to the throne of the grace his blood provides justification we spared from the wrath of god we are no longer under the curse of the law we are called the children of god of god the precious blood of jesus christ speaks the better things for you and me than abel amen his blood gives power over devil the satan let's pray dear heavenly father we thank you for the precious blood of jesus christ through we have the access kingdom of god through we have access access to the throne of your grace thank you father god for the precious blood of jesus and thank you for all the blessings that comes from the precious blood of jesus we received it in jesus name of father god we speak all those blessings to the people who are watching over this yes, hearing over this message of father god we speak the blessings the power of jesus christ of the the blood of jesus christ upon their life upon their family upon their ministry upon their business upon their everything upon their studies upon their future lord we speak the blessings and the power of jesus the blood of the jesus christ upon every young children every teenagers every toddlers every children of god and every elderly people let them receive the blood of jesus christ and let them be blessed oh father god bless us in jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 god bless you all